Oh gosh, this is going to be a doozy. This deck is somewhat related to the Hop Melfi engine that I made a video a while back. This deck, as you probably saw in the replays, focuses on establishing monarchs and true Dracos and getting Hoppier Squadron to synchro summon during the opponent's turn. We have one Aether, Triple Erebus, one Dynamite Knight, one Karaz, double Ignis Heap, and double Majesty Maiden. As well as Triple Ash, double Eidos, triple Hoppier Squadron, double Melfi Caddy, and one Melfi Pony. Melfi Pony is here only, so he can recycle Hoppier Squadron from the graveyard. We would get all of them into the grave and we would still want to do synchro plays, Melfi Pony is here to provide. Also playing two Edia, the Heavenly Squire, because no tribute summons, Pantheism of the Monarch, because broken draw card, Tenacity, because broken surge card, one called by the grave, because reasons, Triple Prime Monarch. This is especially important since it can summon itself during the opponent's turn and provide a level 5 body on the field. This, with Hoppier Squadron, can allow us to go into things like F.A. Drum Dragster, Clearing Sanctuary Dragon, Black Rose Dragon and Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Getting into those during the opponent's turn can be extremely devastating, especially Black Rose. We're also playing Triple Infinite Impermanence, one Diagram, Triple Heritage and one Disciple, as well as double True King's Return. We're having a 43 card deck. With the draw power and searching capabilities this deck can provide, I think it's a okay amount of cards. As for the extra deck, we're playing Double Blood Rose Dragon. I was never able to summon this, but the materials for it are Aether and Erebus. As I mentioned, this deck focuses on summoning during the opponent's turn, so getting this out during an opponent's turn with Hoppier Squadron and one of the big monarchs banishes the entire graveyard, very much disrupting the opponent's play. We're also playing one Time Lord Progenitor for Gazette, well, it's for Gare. We're playing one Chaos Ruler, the Chaos Magical Dragon, since it excavates on summon, it's a trigger effect, but it cannot miss timing. And also with that we can add some cards, like the Squires or the big Monarchs. There is also Dragon Master of the Tangy, because reasons, and Dragite. Dragite can be summoned with one of two cards, those being either Dynamite Knight or Kuras. Usually we're going for Dynamite Knight since that makes the effect of Dragite alive, since he needs a water monster in the graveyard, giving us an additional form of negation. I already mentioned the level 7s, Black Rose, Moonlight Rose, Clearwing, and Dawn Dragster. Do not feel too bad about ourselves, we're also playing a little nightmare package with Unicorn, Phoenix, and Cerberus. So, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!